My name is Mayor Walter James, the mayor of the town of Bladensburg, and it's such a pleasure to be here today as we celebrate Black History Month. Uh, here in our country, but also here in our community, today is so significant because it's important for us to know our history as we continue to move forward and making our world a better place. Celebrating our diversity, but realizing that the struggle continues and we that we must continue to fight and stand up for what is right. So God bless you all. Thank you so much for being here. Today is going to be a wonderful day. We have here Councilmember Mendoza from the town of Bladensburg. Good morning to you and as we um, embark upon our 10th annual celebration for our Black History Month program for the town of Bladensburg, just um, give me a little bit of history over the years and, um, and the uh, Black History Month programs within the town. Because as a matter of fact, because the council member Mendoza just spearheaded those, um, all of those um, annuals, past annuals. We first thought it was kind of small, you know me, and slowly we got big and stuff, and now we have a big production of it. You know, a lot of thanks to Trina, who took it over a few years ago. So it's great to see it growing, growing every year more and more. So I'm really happy and proud of that it has come, we have come a long way. We have a lot of great things going. Uh, we are on, our, on the road to become more of a green town. Uh, we have others, we have have a lot of celebrations in the last few years. So the town is becoming every year, still a small town, but yet it has that feeling of a family and, and a place where you want to live. And, you know, you, and if you don't live here, you want to move here. This is um, Councilwoman Beverly Hall, Award 2. And um, I would just uh, like for you to talk to us a little bit about your experiences here in the town of Bladensburg during Black History Month. This is really my second time of doing the Black History Month, and it's very interesting because uh, of all the years that I've lived here in Bladenburg, I never knew that they really had it until I joined the council. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm on the council, it, this is really a, a great experience, and a lot of people from over in Autumn Woods, where I live, are coming to the, the Playhouse today. You are just into your second year yes. as a, a council member. Yes. Um, I'm sure that you have um, brought a lot of more awareness in your area and to your residents in terms of what's going on over here in the town of Bladensburg. So that's very wonderful. And, um, you know, we definitely thank you for coming out today. Thank you for supporting and um, enjoy the program. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And you all have a good day. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Diane Griffin, the town secretary for the town of Bladensburg. On this 50th anniversary commemorating the Birmingham Civil Rights Voting Rights Act. I stand here today because the forefathers of yesterday, I am reaching to the past to stand here present to represent the future of our black heritage. Because of who they are, I am, and because of who I am, my children and grandchildren can be for the future of tomorrow. This is a wonderful celebration for this Black History Month, and I thank all the attendees and the people who make it possible and made it possible for us to unite and stand and speak in one voice. And I pray that as we go forward 50 years, um, we can stand together and come out and vote and unite our voices in peace, love, and happiness, and to always serve one nation under God. Thank you. I'm Police Officer First Class David Cowboy at the Bladensburg Police Department. What Black History Month means to me uh, is an opportunity for us to honor those who uh, paved the way for us in the past, um, such as Dr. Martin. Dr. Martha Luther King, Rosa Parks, and uh, other great people uh, such as that. Um, history is still being made today um, as we saw that Sheriff Troy Burry was elected the first sheriff of Charles County. So, uh, if it wasn't for people like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks and uh, other great civil rights leader, we would not be uh, in this position uh, to serve as law enforcement officers. So. Officer Leon Scales from the Bladensburg Police Department. Uh, black history is very important to me, just through my family heritage and me being in law enforcement. It was the one point in time that not even blacks were allowed to be police officers. So being a young black male and being able to uphold and honor the badge of Bladensburg and just the badge of law enforcement, period, just I have great honor in that. I take great honor in that. I take my job very seriously and just to come after the many people that opened the doors for us. I appreciate you all. 
I appreciate my forefathers and all the people that fought so I can have this opportunity to serve and protect. So I wanted to tell everybody happy Black History Month, and I hope that we all continue to strive and be better every single day. I'm Trina Brown, council member representing the town of Bladensburg, here with our wonderful junior ROTC um, from Bladensburg High School. So, and I know that we are, uh, some are going to be presenting during the presentation of colors. Then are you guys presenting the colors or you are reading the timelines? The three of us are reading the timelines. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm gonna hand the mic off to you. I want you all to introduce yourselves and just you know, say, tell a little bit about Black History Month and what it means to you. Okay. I'm Cadet Staff Sergeant Madan, and Black History Month for me is basically a time when we actually go back and honor our, basically let everyone that's lived before us and everything that they have done for us to actually have us get to be able to have free education, everything that we have now. So basically it's just one of the days that we honor and support everyone that's out there that actually gave their lives for us. I'm Cadet Airman First Class Brown Turner. And to me, Black History Month means to celebrate the lives and deaths of people like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the ones who got us where we are today and to celebrate our freedom, our rights to everything, and just to honor our life. I'm Cadet Amherst First Class Braithwaite and Black History Month actually means a lot to me because we wouldn't be where we are today as in we wouldn't be free and I'm just thankful for everyone who fought for us I am Cadet Tech Sergeant Scott, and the reason why I'm thankful for Black History Month is because it makes me think like a lot about the history and everything that happened. As far as Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, I think I like a lot about that. Like, if they didn't do what they did, what would we be like today? And once again, we thank you all for coming out and celebrating this momentous occasion with us. I'm George Powell. Uh, I've been in this area of Maryland and the District of Columbia all of my life. I'm 91 years old. I'll be 92 in uh, about four or five weeks from now. Uh, I have been uh, in the Northwest area of Washington during the times that they had uh, segregated schools and everything. I went to Armstrong High School and graduated from there. Uh, uh, I have uh, been active in many organizations trying to help uh, our people to further out the, way, the efforts of our people. I'm Dr. Robin Harris. I'm from Bowie, Maryland, and I'm excited to tell you that I'm here at the 10th Annual Black History Celebration, and they would like me to share what black history means to me. Black history means a time when we come together in unity to learn and to inform others about what black history is all about. I'm excited to know each year that we come together across communities to do just this.